Then in 1928, a brilliant designer called Walter Christie smashed that limit to pieces. He built a lightweight track machine that moved at astonishing speed. The prototype had a low-slung chassis and for the first time in a tank, an independent suspension system for each wheel. In the past, tanks used a simple leaf spring suspension system. This type of suspension consists of several layers of metal, called leaves, bound together to act as a single unit. Many trucks and heavy vehicles still use this design today. Christie's system was different. The separate suspension units allowed each wheel far greater freedom to move up and down. It gave his tanks a huge advantage cross-country. The U.S. Army didn't adopt his system. Christie was too difficult to work with. The problem is that he was kind of the archetypical eccentric inventor. He had difficulty working as part of a team. Instead, Russia bought it and incorporated it into their new tank, the T-34. 